Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make this vase. Okay, see? It's a vase. <coughs> and it can be used to hold stuff like flags. Okay, just like this. And alright, so here it goes. So for this model, I'm going to use this square sheet of paper. Okay, and alright, so um, for a green vase, let's begin green side down. And fold in half. Okay, we're gonna make a square base, so try to make very precise folds and crease sharply. Now unfold and fold in half the other way. Okay, just like this. Now let's fold this edge to this edge. Okay, just like this. Alright, now turn over, right to left, and now let's fold this edge to here. Okay, just like this. Alright, now let's open this up right here. Put your hand inside like that and flatten it down like this. Okay, just like this. So here we have the square base. Okay. Alright, and now we're going to do is we're going to... Um, uh, let's see. So, orient the model so that the, 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 these corners are facing you, okay? And what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this point to this edge right here. Okay, watch me do the fold first, okay? So, we're going to fold it up like that, okay? And you want to make where the fold ends right here. So, look, you want this point to touch the crease, and the fold is going... And where the fold starts right there, it's going to touch this edge right here. Okay? Just like this. About like this. Okay? Just like that. Yeah, about like that. Okay? And let's do the same thing on this side. And on, and on this side, it's easier. Let's just fold this point to that point. That's easier to teach. Okay? Now let's turn over and do the same thing. So, um... Let's fold this point to the crease, okay? And all, you can just match, you can just make the fold align with the edge below. Okay, just like this. Now, rotate and do the same thing. Fold this point to that point. Okay? This is the bottom of the base, and this is the top, okay? Yeah, I know it doesn't look like it yet, but... Yeah, trust me, this is the bottom right here, okay? And this is the top. Alright, like this, now let's work on the bottom of the base. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this up right in between these two points right here. Okay? And you want to make this point touch the crease. Okay? That's how you know it's, it's aligned good. Okay? Just like that. Now, unfold and turn over and do the same thing. Let's just, we're, we're just reversing the crease now. We're going to make the crease genderless, so <clears throat> it's easier to open it up, okay? Yeah, so yeah, just keep reversing that crease for a minute or so until it's nicely genderless, okay? Just like that. All right, so that's nice and genderless. I'm happy with that, okay? Now let's work on the top, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold, we're going to fold this up right in between these two points now. And again, make sure that this point aligns with the crease. So that way it's exact. Okay? And now let's turn over and do the same thing. Fold this up right in between these two points. And make sure that this point aligns with the crease. Just like that. Okay. Now let's um, fold this over. Kind of like we're turning the page of a book. And turn over and do the same thing. Fold this over like this, okay? And let's let's do the same thing. So fold this up right in between these two points and make sure that this point aligns with the crease. And turn over and do the same thing. Fold this up. Alright, just like that. And now we are ready to open it up. So, yep, this is my favorite part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up like this. And we're going to put our finger inside, and we're just going to 
kind of touch this crease right here so it comes out like that okay and rotate and do the same thing make that crease come out and make this crease come out like that and like that all right just like that and you can fix any glitches that were formed so yeah so pretty good so yeah and yeah, and this top part is kind of delicate, so you really need to be careful. Because look, you see, th this can go in pretty easily right there, okay? Because, so yeah, see, and see, these two edges can go in a little bit, see, like that. So that's pretty delicate, because see, that's because these points are not locked, okay? I don't know a way to lock them, okay? I'm sure there's a, there is a way to lock them, but I don't know. But it's pretty good like this, okay? Or you can just tape them. You can, you can tape them like that so it doesn't do that, okay? But it's pretty good like this, okay? You can still put stuff inside, like flags, okay? So yeah, this is that flag that I taught right here, okay? And yeah, or it can be used to hold pencils. Just like that, pencils. <clears throat> okay, or maybe other stuff, like cloth flickers, okay? And this model I taught right here, okay? So, there it is, or maybe it can be used, to, it can be used as a stand to stand other models on, like maybe, uh, maybe stellated octahedrons, okay? And yeah, and this model I learned from Jeremy Schaefer Origami, okay? So if you want to learn how, to, if you want to learn how to fold this model, go to Jeremy Schaefer Origami and type stellated oct stellated octahedron or whatever whatever it is. Yeah, I I like this model. It's pretty cool. And what's really cool about it is, look, see. There's a heavier side right here. This is the heavier side, okay? If you keep that side facing up, and if you let go, it rolls over like that. It rolls over. I don't know why it rolls over like that, but that's pretty cool. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, that's... I love that part. Okay? So, yeah. So, go to Jeremy Shape Origami and try to fold this. So, there you have it. There's the vase. Hope you enjoyed folding that, and... Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.